Okay, next time. I'll pick more than 10 minutes worth of music. Okay, before we give away our high-end cards again. Let's go address the three mark ones.
Wait, is that an H-E-B card? Just because it has H-E-B doesn't mean it's good. I've actually been quite out of the loop about which AMD GPU is good. Something to keep in mind is that the game takes place in 2018. Standard CPU and GPU would be like an Intel i7-7000, 700,000, and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 1080. So the game seems to be trying to avoid a bit anachronisms. Shoot. Okay, well, that was the best CPU I could put in that without replacing the board. So I could add RAM and see what happens. Are you kidding me?
Okay, so it only wants to be paired. We can do that. If that does nothing, I'm putting it back. Is this the weird keyboard everyone has? Okay, so this first mouse. I'm using its predecessor. I don't think this was a significant change.
Here we go again. Hello, Sid. Oh shit! I think I forgot something. Almost let that one go without the Psylocke panel.
so the way this game works kind of betrays some of the answers. As an example, a royal person doesn't generally define an exact budget. So someone will go, I need a better video card. And go, I'm willing to spend 300, maybe 400. And then you give them the option of whatever you had. Like if you play the game completely straight, you just sell all the used parts. Realistically, though, there are people who want the used parts. For them, they want an exact part, and are willing to pick up a used part. Gee, wow, all these computers have MSI parts. Now, among computer experts. It might be controversial to say this. But Emma has a low build quota. Gamer's Nexus basically was like no more. In terms of personal experiences. I would pick Gigabyte over on SA. But I'd pick SS over all of them.
but not every brand is equal in all regards. Like Gigabyte had an exploding PSU problem. I had two gigabyte motherboards, one killed itself. So it's still pick gigabyte over MSI that tells you how much I trust MSI. But given the choice between MSI or nothing, I'd still opt for MSI. such as the present GPU shortage. Anyway, this is a simulator, so to speak. So brain and quality is irrelevant. Hey, look at that. Exactly on the number.
had to check for APC to lock. This might be harder to hit. Hang on. Why is there an empty Psy slot? Why? I got an achievement. For forgetting the thermal paste, I bet.
So I have this one, but that's no better than the one in there. Nothing too exciting. I must have put the GPU I intended for the last one in a different one.
could be were. In a real painting. If you forget the thermal paste, it just thermal throttles. It doesn't suddenly kill itself. What? I thought I did. Guess not.
Okay, so other than the cooler, that's probably it. We've overspend. Buy only thirty dollars, though. Now the question he How much of ACP can I put in? The RAM is going to be 80, so that means... $420 can be allocated to the spa. Oh, 
Also notice how I've not upgraded any cooling. There's a reason for that, aside from the game mechanics. Unless you're going from a 15 watt CPU to a 135 watt CPU, the cooler is probably fine. Oh, I already have two six thousand seven hundred thousand. New event. Who well, you know what I probably did? Those Ryzen systems, I probably thought they were Intel and ordered the foods ahead of time. Well, them out, then I'll order another. You work with computers. Well, gee, you're mailing a computer tech. A real one. Again, pause, no use parts. I really have to wonder. What were these emails based on? Did they just create the BBBB complaints or something?
Red cables. to pay $100 because someone wants red cables. Here we go again.
Oh my god! Where can we shave some money us? They didn't ask for specific GP. Is there even something worse than this? No, not really. So some context. The last two cards. Tras. Oh, but we might have to. Uh... Basically looking at cheaper memory.
Like these ones are all half the price, but half the capacity. half. This is not useful. This pain. Oh, look, he's at. Finally, another puzzle. We need more power. Yep, I was right. I could also replace it with this, but let's check the mail.
Context. Power supplies are very reliable. But you usually wouldn't reuse a power supply except to troubleshoot things. So that what we're going to do in case there's anything else that needs to be replaced. Okay, I am curious. What happens if I give someone a used part? Predictably, the computer has failed once more. Sounds like this is someone who would lend even new. I guess we can find out. Don't leave a five star, I'm gonna never do that again. Okay, looks like we can do that. And then here we have a four star for no particular reason.
like das. Mismatched cables, blah. modular power supplies. That doesn't even make sense. How do you get black and white from that? Let's remove that trash part. Okay, doing this by the way, I wouldn't never day. Team Grew. Gray.
Okay, let's see what the problem is. Not viruses for once. Like I said, 3D Mark it is not a diagnostic. The game seems to think it is though. I mean, the clue is right there in the objectives. I noticed it. Do power supplies no longer have holes in them? This is what I mean by having a Frankenbox handy.
Okay. So for those watching and are wondering what the heck I just did. I swapped the RAM I bought for the new bill. Because I need a cheaper RAM in me. This computer is also a cell I build. what this little thing is. That an SL I bridge. You never want to put old parts in a new guile. You never want to put old parts in a new build, unless it's yours. Like, look at this. This configuration is basically a bunch of trash thrown together. So notice something. This 3D mark score with two key pages is worse than one PC earlier.
And the reason for that is this is a Radeon Renang 280 in crossfire mode. Basically, these two GPUs combined are worse than a GeForce 980 TD. Celery processing. Pretty much anything is an upgrade. What the crap? Good grief. I'll be honest. I hate these 3D mark scores. They don't mean anything except as a direct comparison to an identical system.
Oh, this was the red cable. Like I said, half the color comes from the PSU itself. It's not gonna let me grab that cable. Set me the front panel connecting. You know what? I don't care.
Okay, let's see what we can second guess this time. Can we build it this time? We're still over by $30. I probably should have pick picked a CP. I probably should have picked a worse CP. So the 1300s would have been correct then. Let me be honesty. I would not spend this much time debating what parts to use. I would be like, yep, but the best option. I don't do new builds for this reason. Because I second guess what is the best option.
to me either you pick the i7x 700,000 Intel processor or you are throwing away money. There is no reason to buy an F5 or a 3. Unless you are building trash for someone who is never going to use it in any serious capacity. That's why I keep pointing out the trash you paired with the high end EP. That's not a typical configuration by any means. Here I can even prove it. Take a look at the numbers beside the CPUs. That Pentium. One configuration. And that is a miserable configuration at that. Same here. It's not a typical configuration to have any GPU paired with a Pentium, Celeron, or a 3. Now that I selected only systems with a dedicated GP. The lowest configuration you can get is in a 5.
And these are all low NDP parts as well. Like it would be embarrassing to play games with one of these. We're going into the Wii T. So what I just did here was compare the GPU you see in the F5 with one you'd see in an N9. Like there is no comparison at all. There is more than a threefold increase in performance. So, why would you stick such a thing in a cheap CPU system? Okay, what was I looking for? Oh right, downgrading a CPU to meet an arbitrary number.
Oh, yes, the red plastic, yeah. Uh. Did I not buy it? It says I have two. These are some concerning desktop things. View from the bushes. All right, I shouldn't even need to run this. What do you think, Sid? What do you think those mystery things on the desktop are?
Berbere. Speaking of Berbere. Eight terabytes. I sure hope they mean mechanical disk. Okay, there are four TB drives. My laptop went to sleep.
No wait, a 980T is already the top end. We need to do something else. All right, the crappy CP. Hmm, that's interesting. Are you kidding? This is another nice GPU trash CPU. Yet.
mismatching colors on the inside today. Oh, I did order this one. I wonder if you can change any of this stuff.
Must be the way that Pooh looks. I still have a golden. You know I've not been checking the PSUs when I replace the GPU. See, another trash CPU with a good GP. Mind you, I installed the GP.
I sure hope this is exciting for those who are watching. Because this is about as fun as a real computer minus the dust, sharp edges. Hi, Burb. Hmm, I haven't played that game. Just for your information. The music in the background isn't part of this game. It's from freepd.com. Cool. Darn it. That was a typo. It's all right, I'll just mute that part. I hate to type out freepd.com. The cues if I type freep. Com the period will get dropped.
Okay, replace CPU and cooling. Another trash CP. Okay, so they have $150 for the CPU and cooler. Okay, so we're going to have to work backwards. So the cooler, it had was eight fifteen dollars one. Actually, I didn't pay attention. So one hundred and fifty dollars. If we set aside fifteen dollars or twenty dollars for the cooler, we can get a one hundred and thirty dollars for. Tough choice. The E3 is actually better.
Oh shoot, I forgot the cooler. This poor new PC build, I had to gut it three times. I'll be right back. 